Hi, welcome to our kitchen. We have got a really succulent pork loin sandwich to share with you today. It's, it's actually a roast. It's juicy. <laughs> it is a roast pork loin sandwich, and yeah. I have no doubt you are going to love the way it drips down your elbows the way we do. First thing we're doing is we're working with the pork loin roast. Pork loin roast is different from a pork tenderloin. Easily confused. I mean, you know, what I think one thing that happens to people is they go to the store and they see that little skinny tenderloin and they confuse it for a pork roast, which this is a big succulent piece of meat that has a lot of fat on it. And it's tied together because we don't want it falling apart because we're going to cut it up into nice little sandwich pieces and uh, put it in the oven at 500 degrees for about an hour and 20 minutes. This is a four pound piece of uh, pork loin roast. Well, John is going to season this thing and, and pop it in the uh, roasting pan. And yeah, I'm we're going to put up some garlic. Real simple. First, we want to brown the outside. We want to uh, get some salt and then, uh, oil, pepper. And I'm going to use a little bit of the grease from the bacon because that's one of the ingredients and makes it so succulent. So I'm going to put a little bit of that into our pan over here. And I am getting together um, the ingredients for a rub that we do on top of it, when it before it actually um, goes into the oven. We traditionally do a rub um, with garlic and then rosemary. And this rosemary smells so good. Gorgeous, fresh rosemary. Um, you could use whatever herbs you wanted to, thyme. You know, the cool thing about something like this, again, you guys know that our goal with sharing our kitchen with you is that we love to cook. We love everything about food, but we want you to be able to take this and turn it into whatever you want. You know, if you want to turn it, turn the roast into something different by rubbing it with other things that, you know, maybe you don't have the same ingredients, then get right in there and make it your own. That's what's great about something like this. You can't mess this up. Um, again, we're uh, putting a little olive oil into the pan, a little uh, bacon grease, a little salt and pepper in there as well. We put it on the meat and we're going to put it in the pan as well. And that gets uh, it, it nice and brown and then we're going to put it in the oven. So basically just, we just brown it on all sides before we actually roast it in the oven. Have you talked about the layers that we put onto this yet? No, we haven't even talked about it. Let's okay, do a share. sandwich includes two pieces of bread. It's amazing. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> And we're going to use the pork that's going to be between those two pieces of bread, but we also layer in Vidalia onion and uh, bacon and the pork, and it's a little bit of mayonnaise on there. And pepperoncini. Pepperoncini, that's yeah, pepperoncini. Beautiful pepperoncini. So that gorgeous roast. You hear the sound? That's the sound of lusciousness. I wish you could smell it. Yeah. Oh, let's just show how so, yeah, beautiful Take a look at that big hunk of meat. Now we're going to just, just brown it. I've got it on a high. We're going to uh, brown each side, rotate it just a few times. That's only going to take a couple of minutes. And uh, once that goes into the uh, oven, then I'll do the onions and we'll get that going. Now we're going to put a little bit of that bacon grease in there again. We're going to put some salt and pepper and mustard and some garlic. Um, you know, you're looking for around, uh, well, depending on the size of your roast, if it's a smaller roast, like a quarter of a cup of paste to rub all over it, or a half a cup oh. is great, because what it'll do is it'll make, let me see, oh. well, let's show them. Look at that. It'll make this amazing, um, kind of like a crust, I yeah. would say. Yeah, it gets burned a little bit. With rosemary, you know, um, all we do is finely chop it, because, um, you know, a lot of people cook with these whole, I just don't... I don't like them stuck in my teeth. <laughs> gorgeous. Let me see it on the side now. Mm. We're getting all the sides done. Mm -hmm. The onions are going on. We've got bacon already cooked, so the bacon's going to go on it. I'm just going to cut up some pepperoncini, and um, I think we're ready to throw that roast in the oven pretty soon. Come and then on. we'll assemble our sandwich. So down. as far as the pepperoncini goes, I am literally, as you can see, just cutting them into small you know, small pieces like this. I'm going to pull Great. the meat out. Great. Look how pretty this gorgeous roast is. Mm. Mm. All right, now we're going to put this paste on mm. here. We're going to put it back in the pan and throw it in the oven. Mm. Oh, my gosh, the outside of it tastes so good already. You want to push push all this stuff into the openings because that's just going to mm, fill it full of juice. Mm, good. And it, sm and it truly smells like... Oh. Sunday afternoon at your grandma's house. You know that, that smell that oh. you recall? I love that. I know you guys have that. I know we all have that nostalgic Absolutely. smell. So these are browning. They're maybe getting, um, you know, you really want to keep these moving around. Um, 
And generally, did you add any sugar to these? I did not. Oh, I'm just going to add a tiny little pinch of sugar. So are we ready to throw the roast? We're ready to throw it in. Oven? Okay, I'll grab it. it. You grab it. We'll get All the right. oven. And then we'll put the sandwich together in a little bit. So our amazing roast is looking really unbelievable. So may have to take it's a ready. slice of it. It's ready. Take a look at this. And we oh. we have let this. Um, we pulled it out. It was about 150. Um, so you know, really test it as you're going, and it's so gorgeous. Beautiful. Let's. Uh, We're gonna pull it out. Just make bit. some sandwiches. And while John is cutting that, I'm just going to tip this up so you can see all the yummy, Ooh. yummy gunk in the bottom of the pan. You know what I would do I'm with put a that? Bit on the sandwich. Keep it, and we could add a little tiny bit of vinegar to it. I don't know if you've ever made a dressing out of um, pan drippings so with a little bit of vinegar, but oh, it's incredible. Are you ready? Are you ready? I, I am ready. All right. Let's see it. Nice straight cuts. Great. I will get some bread ready for us, and we're basically oh, look using. At that. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at the juice coming out of there. Yeah, that's mm. gorgeous. Yum. We're using dark rye bread. And on ours, we use uh, mayo, grainy mustard. Okay. And so, you know, this is a great part to really personalize it, too, because you can put on as much as you want or as little as you want. Mm. And if you want a big slab of melted Gruyere on yours, you could do that, too. Wouldn't that be unbelievable? Okay, so, right. put, so you want to put some good, you know, I want to make sure I have lots of the outsidey stuff on mine. Oh, wait, did you put pepperoncini? I did. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we got it on there. Great, will you just cut mine in half? Well, I'm going to cut yours in or half. I'm gonna really we're going to eat myself. it. Yeah. Mm. Oh. All right, I've got to take a bite with the crust to that crust. Absolutely. Pepper. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> so good. Mm. I hope you email us and tell us you guys love this. Oh, this is good. We're going to hide away and finish these off. Mm -hmm.